Hello everybody and welcome back to Sailing Madness. Now, if you're new here, my name's Dave and I'm a full-time YouTuber based in the UK. Now, I make sailing videos on board my 36-foot sailing boat called Kudos, currently based in North Wales. And as the name of this video suggests, I'm going to be telling you why I am no longer using GoPro and instead I'm going to be using a new brand of action camera to make my sailing videos for 2024. Now before I tell you what the camera is and before I tell you why I'm switching from GoPro, let me give you a bit of a backstory. Now my love affair with GoPro started way back in 2012. We was on a family holiday in Orlando in Florida and up until this point I'd never even heard of GoPro. We were in some shop somewhere in Orlando and I stumbled across these action cameras. This was the GoPro Hero 2 and I decided to buy it. Got it back to the hotel, charged it up, and I gave it to my kids to play with in the pool in the hotel. Now, when I offloaded the footage from the camera, I was absolutely blown away by the quality of the video that that tiny little camera had produced. My kids were not exactly expert filmmakers, but what came out of the camera really did blow me away. I produced a very short video of my daughter going down a slide at the hotel pool, and I put it on my Facebook page, and all my friends and family were saying to me, wow, Dave, how did you film that? That's incredible. And I knew from that day forward, my holiday videos were going to be at a brand new level. In fact, every single family holiday from that day forward, the first thing that went into my case was my GoPro camera. And then as soon as GoPro released a brand new camera, every time they bought a new model out, I was all over it, I was buying it. Starting with the Hero 3, followed by the 4, the 5, the 6, right up to the Hero 10. Right, now you know the backstory, let's fast forward 10 years and the start of the sailing channel. When I was buying the camera equipment that I needed for the filming on the boat, I knew the best camera for me was an action camera. I needed something that was lightweight, I needed something that was portable, robust and waterproof. So an action camera ticks all those boxes. And of course because of my love affair with GoPro, I went straight for the GoPro Hero 10. Was that a mistake? Yes, I think it was. Nowadays, of course, GoPro have a lot of competition from the likes of Insta360 and DJI, to name but two. I didn't consider any of those brands, and perhaps I should have done. Because, of course, back in the early days when I was buying the Hero 2 and the 3 and the 4, GoPro had the action camera market all to themselves. There was no serious competition, so there was no other camera to consider. But there is today, and I should have done that. Because this camera quite frankly, has been the most unreliable camera I've ever owned. As you can see, I have it in the media mod, and the thing that grates me more than anything about this camera, apart from losing footage, is to get the footage off this camera, I've got to take the media mod to bits every time. Yes, I could connect via the GoPro app and download the footage that way, but that just takes a lifetime. It is so slow, and the GoPro app is not very good. I also don't like this old outdated mounting system where you have to unscrew everything every time you want to move the camera, take it off a hand mount and put it on one of the fixed positions that I've got on the boat. There has to be something better, isn't there? Well, of course there is. And that is in the new camera that I've just bought. So if I'm ditching GoPro for the first time in 12 years, what action camera am I going to be using in 2024? Well, the answer to that question is the Insta360 Ace Pro. Now, you're not watching this episode in the order that it was recorded. A couple of days ago, myself, Robin and my son Dan, we went for our first day sale of the year and we took this camera with us. Now, I've already seen and edited the footage and I've been blown away by what the camera has done. Uh, there's one or two tweaks I'll probably make on the settings, but for using it for the first time, the footage is really good. Now, you're about to see that in a couple of minutes from now, but first of all, let me tell you some of the things that I really like about this camera. Now, I'm not going to dive too deeply into the technical specifications here, nor am I going to start comparing this camera to, say, a GoPro Hero 12. There's already loads of videos out there on YouTube that do that. But what I'm going to do is talk about some of the things that made me choose this camera over upgrading to, say, a GoPro Hero 12. And first of all, the big game changer for me was the flip screen. I love the fact that that huge screen now comes out at the top of the camera so when you do your selfies when you're doing your stuff to camera you can actually see yourself the screen on the gopro at the front is just far too small this camera also has a bigger sensor than the gopro hero 12 what's the sensor well a sensor allows more light in and more light means better quality 
And talking of quality, this is the world's first 8K action camera. Now, I don't typically record in 8K, but what that basically means is I can double tap the screen and what the camera will do is it will digitally zoom in. And because it's got the 8K sensor, when it does digitally zoom in, you're not actually losing any of that 4K quality. So technically speaking, this is the world's first lossless zoom action camera. Game changer. And talking of quality, the low light capability of this camera is really, really good. And I'll demonstrate that when you see the footage that we recorded from our day cell in a couple of moments from now. The other thing I really like about the camera and what I criticised the GoPro for a couple of minutes ago is the mounting system. This really is superb. It's magnetic. It goes on just like that. No screwing around with screw threads or anything like that. It is just simply on and off. And that means it's so easy to go from having it on a selfie stick to putting it in one of the fixed positions that I've got on the boat. The other thing I really like about this camera is the hand gestures to stop and start recording. So all that for me made me choose this camera over the GoPro and so far I've not regretted it. But what do you think? Have a look at the film and let me know in the comments below. A very chilly January morning the sun's just come up we just left Conway Marina and we got Dan my son Dan who you may remember from an earlier episode and I know you can only see his back at the moment but Robin is back on the boat fender, fender monkey fender. <laughs> we've got two fender monkeys today hey. so lots of new toys to play with brand new camera we've got the folding prop we've got radar we've got a brand new electronic system Oh, we've got to set the autopilot up. Oh, that's new. And, and, and my electric chile. Oh, Anton's Christmas present. We'll show you that later. An electric chile. What a tart. What did you call me then? Anton. T Tom. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Kevin. <laughs> now, on the last video, the comments underneath, the final comment of the whole series was, really enjoyed that series. That was brilliant. Thanks very much, Kevin. <laughs> so, so you can be Kevin, I can be Tom. <laughs> Dearie me, who are you? Tell it's early in the morning and we haven't done any filming for a while. Right, let's get out the channel and we'll play around with our new toys. <laughs> well, we've slowed down because the boat in front of us is uh, going rather slow. So uh, we'll overtake him in a minute, I think. Okay, yeah, the sky's looking quite impressive over there. And uh, if only all that blue sky was where the wind direction was coming from, but the wind direction is coming from behind down over there. So uh, we may be okay. It does say there might be a bit of rain this morning, but we'll see. I can't really see the green boy. I'm kind of just. It's, uh, it's hard to oh, see yeah, I see it. Bench, yeah. Should we do one for real then? Have a little practice? Yep. Yeah. 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 You ready? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It doesn't matter. Don't worry if it gets caught the way I said and stuff like that. Main thing is get it into the rubbery thing at the top. Okay. Yeah. Don't mind your fingers. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, okay. ready about? Ready. Ready. Right. Helm to lean. Okay. So, the boat's coming across. I'll tell you when to pull, Dan. Watch the sail. See? Okay, Dan. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull. Stand up, Dan. You need to stand pull. up. That's it. Now get the ropes around the winch now. That's enough. Get it around. Yeah, see? See how it's going out as you're doing yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Hand away from the winch. From this point forward until when you until your dad's moved for the ring, just hold it. Yeah. Okay, when we tell you, then keep your hands away from the winch, just unwrap it. Okay. My line will be trying to feed through. You can let it feed through, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so ready about? Ready. Ready. Okay, helm to lee. Right, see this one, the cell flaps, not going now then? Okay, okay down. Okay, so ready about? You're ready? I'm ready. Should I pull my tight now or? No, wait. No, wait, go ahead. Wait, uh, Wait for Robin to release, yeah, remember? Yeah. And Robin's not going to release until the sail flaps. Okay. And that won't happen until I turn the boat through the wind, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so helm to lee. That means okay. I'm turning the wheel. Okay, down. Go. That's 
it, get it in the tailor. You know those girls need to come off a bit, Robin. It's tight. Sorry. Get it in the tailor. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. You know, I've got to say, I'm loving this new camera. The big screen up there is such a big advantage over the GoPro because I can see myself and I know I'm framed. I know the GoPros have that little screen at the front, but anything more than an arm's distance away and you can't see where you are properly. But yeah, great winter sail. A lovely January sail. It's cold, but the sun is shining. And so far, everybody's having a good time. Great to be back out. Right, so we've made it to the Manai Strait. The wind's died down an awful lot now, so we're motor sailing in the channel. That's Puffin Island just there behind us. Dan's on the helm. Feeling a bit green, aren't you? I was before and it was quite choppy, but I'm not doing so bad now. You are now, yeah? Yeah, I can't see a thing. I should have some glasses. Ready for a bacon sandwich at lunchtime? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things I do like about this camera is because this is the, the world's first 8K action camera what that basically gives you is the ability to zoom so what i can do is just press a button on the screen at the back and as you can see it all zooms in really nicely It's all very quiet on board. Everybody's just had a bacon sandwich. We're waiting for the kettle to boil for a cup of tea. And then we're going to be heading back. How's your day, Dan? Yeah, it's been, I'm blinded right now. Blinded by the sun. <laughs> been good. How do you think he did then, Robin, for his first kind of... Oh, his... Despite the lack of skill <laughs> tuition really well. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see on the way back. We're not quite yacht master instructor standards yet then for uh, training people on how to become po competent crew. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember what we're doing ourselves. <laughs> I did feel very rusty today actually because since Scotland I've been out once with my wife um, and it's amazing how rusty you get. Before in Scotland it was picking up mooring boys and we didn't miss one did we? No. Um, in and out of marinas, along the uh, Crinan Canal, no problem at all. But when you haven't done it for a while, it, you become really rusty. Reversing out this Re morning yeah, was, quite was a lot harder than yeah. all of those yeah. things, wasn't it? It didn't need to be, I just felt like it was just like, okay, so what am I doing now? I was holding ropes <laughs> thinking, which one can I take off? Can I take this one? <laughs> do you know, it just proves one thing, doesn't it? We need to do more sailing. Also. That's what it is. Right, oh, that sun is bright. The engine is back on, the lads are just at the front racing the anchor, Robin's showing Dan how it's done. And then we'll be heading back to Conway. The gate comes down at 3 o'clock, we're aiming to get back into the marina for about 4. Well, we've just been playing with the new toys, just calibrated the autopilot, that didn't take very long, it's quite simple to do. The autopilot's on now, so uh, Dan is helming hands free. Take your glove off. Oh. <laughs> what does obstacle mean? Obstacle. Where? Up there. Obstruction. Oh. Well spotted, Dan. <laughs> Where's your dad selling us to now? <laughs> it's a long, it's a long way up the chart. Do you know what that black thing is there? I have no idea. That's a shipwreck. Ah. So we want to avoid that if we can. That's your dad's last boat. <laughs> right, one of the fun things this camera can do is some sort of AI thing. 
So can we all just pretend we're pirates for a second? Can we just go ooh are? One, two, three. Ooh are. Okay, so that's a bit of a gimmicky thing. I probably won't use that very often, but it's nice to know you can do it if you need it. Are you having a good time, Dan? I've just told you I'm terrified, so you pull the camera out. <laughs> Thanks. It's kind of touchy one, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you scared? I don't know. There's just a lot going on, and there's a lot I don't know, and there's a lot I'm just kind of just, just winging. But do you want to learn how to do it? I mean, yeah, but there's being taught, and then there's being thrown at the deep end. You're doing well, Dan. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you. You're like a salty sailor now, you're not bothered by any of this boat movement or anything, you see? When you're like here steering it, it's not as bad. When you're like sat down or doing something else, I don't know, it's a lot worse. And that's why you've sold them the helm now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but well, that does mean you get to take it into the marina. And, oh, I and, don't think I'll we'll be doing and that. steer it and park it. I, I will end up scratching some of the boat and it'll likely be this one. Don't worry, that's what everybody else does. So it's no, <laughs> no problem. You're not a proper sailor unless you have a few marina stops. We're back. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Good, Good helmet. And the other thing I really like about this camera is what it's like in low light. Check this out, it's pitch black outside. We've got a bit of light around and look how clear we are. That's amazing, isn't it? It looks like something off Blackpool Illuminations, <laughs> that, doesn't it? Is that, is that just the light shining off our bald heads? <laughs> <laughs> you look marvellous, look at that, you look fabulous. With me silly hat on. <laughs> but yeah, low light of this camera is absolutely superb. Really, really good. Oh look, oh, it's changed now. Oh yeah, getting going into a bit of a darker yeah, area now. dark patch. Let's see. <laughs> oh, no, no, careful. Careful, sit down. Getting out of in the water here. Now, where do most people lose, lose their lives on boats? Well, getting onto them when they're pissed. Getting on and off the boat in the marina is the place that is most dangerous on boats. <laughs> that is the truth. That's a fact. No, I'm going to believe that. And especially when they've had a few drinks like we've had. Exactly, exactly. Oh, the, the second most dangerous place to be on a boat. Sailing with you! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned this year. <laughs> so why'd you keep coming back then? Oh, got to sail somewhere, haven't you? <laughs> right, I'm going to spin you around and there is the pub in the background responsible for our stupidity. All in low light, in the middle of the night, in the UK. That is pretty good for an action camera. Okay, here's another example of how good this camera is at low light. Before we left for the pub, I left the deck floodlight on on the boat. And as you can see, it's illuminated lovely. You can just about see me, I think. Absolutely superb. I'm loving this camera. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that little film. Our first sale of 2024 and my first time using this camera. I'm well impressed. I do like it. I'm going to use it all the time now for future sailing videos. And unless GoPro come out with something pretty special over the next couple of years, I can't see myself going away from Insta360 because I think the cameras are so good. I think their mounts are good. I think their apps are superb and their cameras are at the moment just blowing GoPro out of the water. And that just about does it for Dave for today. Thank you so much for your company. Thanks for watching. As usual, like and subscribe. And until next time, take care. See you soon. Bye bye.